uh, illegal dumping in LA and uh, on the trash on the streets has increased 450% in four years. That is the finding of a report by city controller Ron Galperin. He says thousands of tons of trash and hazardous waste are being left on oh. streets and sidewalks. Yesterday I got to shoot power foul. lines and today I got to shoot trash. <laughs> Galperin says Sydney's sanitation crews are stretched thin. The average time for them to respond to an illegal dumping report is five days. I was working on the Kardashian show. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, no, no. Uh, uh, Mary Eric Garcetti wants to increase public trash can emptying and deploy teams into areas where trash dumping is frequent. And this is odd because how do you, like, discern between people's homes or their, their, their unhomes? Mm-hmm. And just trash. I mean, the the sunset off ramp, for instance. Oh my, oh my gosh! gosh. Yeah. Is is a is an actual dump. I mean, it's like just trash everywhere. And yeah. I know there are some people also living there. But I mean, where? How do you make a dis? I don't know how they decide between what is a people's living situation or just garbage i think that was the fear of what was happening at echo park right because mm -hmm. so many people were like you can't just pick up and bulldoze and throw out these right. are these people's belongings but for people who want to take a run in the park you know it's a little bit of a hazard <laughs> not a yeah, little bit absolutely. it is a hazard one of the things that councilman farrell said in a uh, public uh, statement a couple of days ago maybe yesterday or earlier today was that uh, he understood that there was a need for housing in Los Angeles, but that this has reached a point in Echo Park, at least, where there are like vigilante s s government officials now, not real government officials, but people who are going around like collecting tax from the homeless people mm -hmm. in order to uh, have their own sort of mini society. And this is the sort of difference between like what we were talking about when you're in the valley and you're under the overpass and there's some people in tents and something like they had in Seattle with Chaz, right? Mm -hmm. Where this is like an alternate kind of civilization that is, according to them, a sovereign nation that they have sort of declared, they have occupied this space around the park. The city says, no, we don't want that. Um, but I think anecdotally, even notwithstanding the, the homeless issue, you live in Los Angeles for long enough, you see that this is absolutely true. Mm -hmm. The trash is everywhere. It's Nobody's bad. doing anything about it. And it is so bad. And I, you know, and I, God, the, the amount of anxiety that I remember us feeling when the pandemic really started and you just thought, oh my God, what if this thing gets into the homeless population or, or just thinking that you're not really sure how it was being transmitted. And obviously we know because they're outside that actually a lot of the uh, homeless population was spared, which is, I guess, you know, a blessing um, from, from worse COVID numbers, but knowing that like, there's just all of this filth and say it wasn't, say it's not, not COVID, there still is a lot of opportunity for diseases and things like that to exist where there's a lot of trash everywhere and filth. You have downtown, you've got typhus outbreaks at city hall. Mm -hmm. um, and you just wonder like, what is, who, who is doing something about this? There's a, there's a portion of the freeway on my commute where I come in where there's like a giant pile of trash like spilling over a berm essentially like onto the freeway it's just piles yeah. of garbage and it's like who's going to clean and it's been there for at least a few weeks every time I drive by and it doesn't look like anybody's made any effort to like clean it up and it's like falling onto the road well I think trash begets more trash right because yeah. it's like if you go to a house and the people there are are dirty you're not going to you don't care, you know what I mean? I mean, well, you should, you should care. But I think the, the inclination is that if someone else isn't taking care of it, it's easier to say, well, who cares? More trash, more trash. But you go to other places around the country that are big cities, even New York City, way cleaner than Los Angeles, way more dense. I don't know what they're doing there, uh, but it, it really- That's saying just, something. I know, but it's true though. I mean, I went to New York four years ago and even then I was like, wow, this place is really clean. That's because they heard you were coming and they wanted to make it all nice. And <laughs> it's tidy. like when an in-law is coming into yeah, town. I felt exactly. the same way a year ago, first weekend of the pandemic, went to Chicago and I was shocked uh, at how clean that city is. It's just, and I don't know if it's always been that way or if I was comparing it to the sunset off ramp every single day, or even just in the valley, every single underpass is just filthy. It's filthy. It's historically, yeah, way cleaner. I mean, I, I know even from just being close to there growing up, Chicago, way cleaner than New York. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, 